Hello to all the parents and carers of Rush Green Primary School, hope you are all doing well. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to complete homework which has been assigned by a class teacher. So to get things started, I'm going to go into the maths classroom, which I've got right here. Left click. And once you've done that, I'm going to, you should be going into your classwork right here, this option here. So you move your mouse, left click on this. And if you get any pop-up messages like this, just click on got it, or you can just click on the X. Now, here we go. Here's the homework right here. Now, there is no due date on this one, okay, in this example. And I am using a made-up child's account in this example. So, Mr. Mears Maths homework, I'm just going to left-click on this. And you've got some very brief instructions right here. It says here, open with DocHub. Don't forget to download and save into your Google Drive before you attach it. Okay, I will explain to you in more detail what that is referring to once I've actually completed the homework. So let's go and view the assignment. So if I click right here, and I'm just going to click on next, I'm going to click on got it here. Brilliant. So once this work sheet has been completed, you, need, you would need to attach this right here. So you'd click on add and you would choose a location where your work has been saved before you finally click on mark as done and that will get the homework sent off to the teacher but let's show you now how to complete this worksheet so i'm going to open this pdf document and this is what you get pdf documents don't allow you to as as it is won't let you fill up any boxes with this example anyway it definitely doesn't let you do that so if i try clicking here or if I try writing something here, there is no option to do that. So what you need to do, if you remember just a moment ago, in the instructions it said that you have to open the document with .cub. .cub is an app which allows you to edit PDF documents like this. Now, to get this, what you do is click on this little white triangle here, and you head over to Connect More Apps. Now it's already suggested this app right here, okay, so you could probably just click on that one, but I'll show you how to search for it in case this does not come up. So click on the plus sign here, it takes a little while for it to load, and in, where it says search apps, simply type in doc hub, and press enter on your keyboard. Now this is the actual, this is the correct app, so I'm going to left click here, and click on connect. Now, right here you can see .cub PDF sign and edit has been connected. So this is now attached to your Google Classrooms. Now what you then do is click on this white triangle here. And now we can go ahead and actually open this worksheet so we can actually edit this. So I'm going to left click here. And it's asking me which account to choose. So I'm going to choose this account here. This is the made up child's account I'm going to left click on that once any pop-up messages that appear like this you have to agree to all of them so i'm going to click on allow allow again and here if you scroll down slightly you've got another button here which says allow now it takes a short while before we can actually edit and complete the homework it says loading Here we go. Now if I scroll down slightly, let's have a look at the actual question. So to fill in these empty spaces, you've got two ways that you can actually do this. Now, you can use the draw free hand tool. So if I left click on this once, so you can just use your mouse and type the numbers one by one like that. Okay, so if I'm gonna do three, five there, each time you add something new, the document does get automatically saved. Now, but not within the Google Drive, but I'll explain to that, that to you later. And here we've got one number at a time is all this lets you do. 
Okay, so it's individual preference, but as you can see, to answer that one very simple question took a, that was quite time consuming. Now the other way you can do this is if I show you here, if I select the pointer tool, this one here, this black arrow, you can select whatever you've entered. You can move this around, or in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and delete really quickly. Now what is much quicker is and useful, I would say, is in my opinion, is add text. So I'm going to left click on this and click right there and just go ahead and type a number. And you can place text wherever you wish. Okay, now once that's done, you can see that 15 is slightly higher and it's not in line with this. As long as it's clear, I wouldn't really fuss too much about the presentation of this, but it gives children the chance to Okay, now I've accidentally added something extra there, so I'm just going to put that in the bin and click on the pointer tool. And move that slightly down. Yeah, there you go. That's much more better presented now. Now, once you're, you've answered all the questions, what you then need to do is download a copy of this into your Google Drive, which is what the teacher briefly mentioned um, just above the homework. So to do this, you click on this button right here, the download button. And what you want to do is select Google Drive, this one right here. And the file name, it's up to you what to call it, but I'm just going to call this one Scott's Maths Homework. Okay. And as soon as you click on Export to Drive, this homework that's been partially completed will be saved in the Google Drive. So I'm going to click here. Brilliant. Now, we don't we know it's saved in Google Drive, don't want to see this, that's fine. Go ahead and click on OK. And then what you want to do is click on this X right here. Close that down. And this was the original PDF document, which we could not edit. We opened it with .hub just a moment ago. We answered one question. We saved it, exported it into Google Drive. And now, if you click anywhere outside this document, like so, work's all done. Now we're going to click on add. So this is just like this is just like adding an attachment to an email. So I'm going to go into Google Drive and naming your homework once you've completed this is I would say is quite important. Now I clearly just a moment ago you saw I call it Scott's Maths homework. So I know this is the most recent and this is the correct document which I want to upload so I'm going to click on that once and then click on insert now once that has been uploaded you can see here a little message here it says when you're ready to submit all of your files for this assignment remember remember to turn it in so yeah we've got that so I'm just going to go ahead and click on turn in one attachment will be submitted for Mr. Mears maths homework Scott's Maths Homework, which is the document that we downloaded, exported into our Google Drive using the DocHub app. And click on Turn In. And that is it. It's all done. So the class teacher will have received this homework now. They, it's very likely they will maybe write a brief comment on the homework and return it back to you. And that is when you can see um, your view, your view, your feedback. If you completed the homework and then maybe thought there was a couple of questions you want to have another go at, you can always unsubmit and you can do the homework again and you can resubmit it if you chose to do so. Okay, that's entirely up to you. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you found this very useful. I will be uploading another tutorial which will show you how to use a different third party app to complete homework for for English let's say um, I will be uploading that soon okay so thanks for watching speak to you soon bye for now